we're gonna jump right in to the beginning of top 16. Yeah, this is a big set here. Riddle's repping one of three Kazuyas in Winter's top 48. That's crazy. Samurai making a crazy upset onto Buzz to keep that third in there. But Riddle's not representing well so far as MK Big Boss with a swift 14 second stop. Yeah, this is definitely a Terminator moment, man. The billionaire businessman getting upset by the robot for short. Or the or Big Boss gave him a taste of his own medicine, but Riddle's trying to answer back, getting the call-out extension, not gonna be able to close it out, though, so just has to push into the corner, try and find a lead Trevor and Edgeguard. Gonna hit the electric nice. and the back air, so locking it down, but taking 60%, that's a short lead. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard to cross up these top players, right? They're so used to working for those PI lines, yeah. even at in the closing seconds. I love that drift from Big Boss to find his way back, but Riddle's calling out the up smash call-out, and now has a huge then off until full forward opportunity, but Big Boss gonna drift it back, play it patient, and, and catch the overextension with a stock of his own. So Big Boss now up to one, but it looks like no somehow finding the tech there. Yeah, that was a phenomenal tech from Riddles, able to stay alive. It goes high. Riddle cover there to get out of the way of these lab ledge guards. They can be so potent and a nice parry into an electric quick punish. But again, MK Big Boss stays safe on the platforms. He's done it one too many times for Riddles to win this game. And the side B is going to get it done off the side of the stage. A great game there for Big Boss. The difference maker was really just that first stock and that first interaction. So it's for Riddles going to be a matter of avoiding that type of explosive stock that Big Boss and Rob specifically can make such big use of. Another laser is going to connect as this game stays pretty even. They trade back and forth, stuck between the gyro. You ran right back into it, sir, but you're still OK. A grab is going to connect as well. Up till into the up air on this stage doesn't kill. Riddles can't get the DI properly. I'm not sure it would have mattered if that and, and that was once again Big Boss fight turning a single hit at zero into not into a straight up zero to death fight yes. until the stock Riddle's now answering back in turn. With the gyro we're gonna drop off stage, just throw it straight down the side B trying to get something done, but it doesn't connect at 124 Riddles. He's gonna think of life there. Yeah, Big Boss loves that side or that down toss on the gyro. He's trying to catch you like landing past him, wave landing, or doing something cheeky past ledge. And trying to go for it. a little active, hey. calling you out with the El Diablo, finding that back air and blocking it down. So Big Boss locking down his lead again. We're gonna miss Ooh. the grounded toss and to start his own combo. Riddle's gonna answer back with a stock of his own. Yeah, it's it's really gonna be close unless there's a two stock deficit, right? Mm -hmm. If they're if the two characters are within one stock, every interaction can take one. So it's always close to even. MK Big Boss down throw into the up air. Riddle's gonna fall out of it though. Maybe some phenomenal SDI. Another down throw. Big Boss keeps finding these. Riddle stays alive on the platform that he himself can typically make such great use of. But Big Boss has been the one on top of those interactions. Up till into up air, gets the job done, and MK Big Boss takes a 2-0 lead and a bit of a pop-off. He's feeling it. Wow. Riddle's trying to take the stock, but just not doing it quite yet, and giving Big Boss an opportunity to answer back, Whoa. which is doing an explosive fashion hey. right now. That was a crazy sequence he's, from Big Boss. Still he's gonna keeping be it chasing. going. The side B gets it done as well. Riddles with very limited options. MK Big Boss keenly aware of that. Gonna take that stock. Great stock from him. You know, I, I said he was good. He, he, he dropped the kill and gave Big Boss a chance to answer it back. I didn't think that Big Boss was just gonna take the whole dang stock there. Yeah. There, this man needs to breathe because he's on absolute fire. I cannot remember the last time I've seen Big Boss playing this out of his mind. Throw yeah. you off stage, Nair. Gonna connect into a laser. Riddle's I, so far in disadvantage. And I love those weak lasers from Big Boss. They're not gonna kill, they're not gonna do a lot of damage, but they are gonna just force Kazuya back to ledge, back to right. the corner, where he's forced, you know, into this disadvantage where they're just expending ex options. Exactly, because when he's over stage, he's got some decent landing options. But neutral air with down air, right, to mix you up, deal a lot of damage and kill power. But all, over the ledge, he doesn't have those. Riddle's able to get on the board, but getting his Whoa. DI, he's going to lock it in at least and hold on. But now no jump, no resources. A is just going to beat Lupia into the blast zone. And now Riddle's potentially on his winner's side stock. Gonna drop the first tech, just have to push Big Boss to ledge. And, I mean, we've seen Big Boss do this so many times in this set. Yeah, Riddle's looking a little stressed. He knows he should be hitting these, but it might not matter. Big Boss stays alive with Jaro in hand, though. Able to surge back from the ledge, the electric onto the platform, and that's certainly gonna be it as Riddles takes game three and finds himself with a bit of solid footing to stand on. Riddles take so often, and we continue to see Big Boss being the benefactor of those big stocks today. Absolutely finesse. He's gonna find him juggle so much damage, pushing you off stage. Big Boss has prioritized saying, hey, I might not as get as much damage off the true combo doing it this way, but I'm gonna prioritize positioning. And if I can always keep Kazuya in and end with myself below him, 
as Riddles is stuck on the platform. Big Boss continues to extend. It's going to take a monumental effort at this point for Riddles. I don't know if I'm more amazed he found nine down tilts or that none of them tricked Finesse. <laughs> yeah, but, true. What but are he's got another two. There he got is. up to 11 before he closed on out. What an Whoa. insane amount. And going all the way out to the top Dude. right corner. You don't see that many players go out there in general. Like, it's kind of that known as that space where you try to get a moment to breathe. But no. And dude, that F tilt, recognizing, hey, you're at the perfect spaces for F tilt at this percent to punch, punch riddles into the gyro so he right past it so he gets stuck there was so smart. Riddles is going to find the command grab and answer back. Now the electric though, so this isn't even game. The percent here doesn't matter. It's just rage for Kazuya Mishima. Uh, we know Riddles can just take it off one hit if he can find it, but this is Big Boss's chance. Riddles now pushing the corner, pushed off stage. That gyro is going to be off the table, so Riddles is going to get back. Finally opening the firm stack. No, going to miss it. This is a scramble finesse. Yeah, the way Riddles can extend, this is basically oh, last what a call out! The drag down into the up smash, what a great last stock for MK Big Boss. In the back pocket, her funnies are truly what separates her, but for Riddles, it's all about that execution. Can he find those electrics? Can he find those combos? And can he please, for the love of God, keep his feet on the ground, I can. Yeah, the ledge is going to be pretty hard for uh, Riddles in this matchup, because they're not known to have the best ledge options and all the reversals you would expect to get destroyed, but it doesn't matter if you get on center stage, you're just fine. Perp stack. And not it just feels like these two are stuck in this neutral battle. We haven't seen those long advantage states from Riddles yet that we're used to seeing in this from this character. Yeah, and like Iken had said about like getting ledge trapped as Kazuya, I like how Riddles is using the lasers off the stage. But right now it's all Riddles ledge trap and gonna find another stock with only 66% on it. That's kinda wild. You I need to eliminate stocks off uh, Kazuya pretty quick, otherwise he starts to snowball. And now we got Rage Drive online. I think it's important to notice that I see this did drop into losers too. Oh, unfortunately. It's also, but this is a scary matchup. You know, obviously it's not the end all be all, but to even use Charge Shot in, because obviously, right, everyone knows that Reflector through the seven frame in one, where if you hit the fully charged Charge Shot on Samus, he dies at zero, but you, you know what? Kazuya doesn't need it to kill you at zero. Every time it's landing on heads. Oh, Hollow instead. Interesting choice. I know Riddles loves this stage. That center platform, so good for the first tech. X, so good, and Kazuya, you know, as we talked about with that first tech. Incredible at putting you in these tech situations, following it up, and giving you no room to work with. Iceman definitely just wants to use that center platform to find the juggles and the laning, but Riddle says you might as well play starting a stock down because it's not even been 20 seconds. Yeah, I love that Gates of Hell on neutral in, on flat ground to force a tech chase and then taking advantage of that to get the ledge trap to get the stock with the ledge trap. Very great stuff for Riddles. This could be a zero dev. Yeah, we're starting we it flat ground. Oh. Yeah, platform, oh. platform. Oh. Reverse snare, you're safe. Yeah. Yeah, and I really like uh, using the downbeat disadvantage for Iceman to just sort of reset, give it a little uh, boost to the aerial drift, get down easier. But man, you got to buffer some ledge options, Icy. This is not working out. To force them to respect you in some of these pressure situations where she's backed into a corner, but she's been afraid to pull it out. Finally doing so there and getting the down smash to actually get out of dodge. Oh God, the rage drive iframes went through the there and it didn't get the grab. That was so hilarious to watch. But I mean, Riddle's finally at ledge. This could be a stock for Icy. Yep. Yeah, and a Zare kill. Ooh, poking him out there. That double jump fair to a platform as a way back to stage, a way out of disadvantage, and even a way to approach. Here we go, Kazi off ledge. General, what are you gonna do? But you get Kazi on the neutral, get up in the shield, the classic. But I see you a little too far away to get a punish. So now it's gonna be the first tech on the platform, and that's gonna be the game. Oh. Riddles just says, "Okay, how to find his way back." This is the ledge trapping that we've seen before. I see let a roll and happen just then, but now, yep, you got that. Oh my lord! Getting the read right barely lives. That is a heavy armored suit right there. Up oh, it doesn't up uh, One of the things as well, you know, Riddles is very experienced in this matchup. The Ontario scene in Toronto especially has the very talented Samus player, RJ. I mean, Riddles is just getting in and just doing more damage and getting some more hits, and the love trapping is just not doing enough for Icy to make up for how much damage Riddles is up putting Kazi on. Yeah, Riddles is getting a lot more out of advantage state, uh, and we saw Icy Miss doing good on those ledge traps, but not really closing them out. And that's one of the things that Samus is very good at, it, sort of converting ledge traps into kills right there, and we're finally going to see it caught the roll in that time that we saw our miss last time. But Icy Miss sort of fighting out of the corner, a big whip grab, but no punish, oh my lord. I like the measured play pacing with Big Riddles and playing. He's not just committing to running in. He's not just crouch dashing through. He's willing to dash back. He's willing to play that Shoto OS right movement back and dash back and forth. The spacing game before he hits the classics. Put your hand down. Chop through the cinder block. Chop through that exosuit. 
Town and city to start here too. Gonna be a little tall, but both characters not going to have too much of a problem killing. Especially when it comes to, you know, these forward smashes yeah. and side B's coming in from MK Leo. Or Brittles can find a forward smash with these electrics. Doesn't matter what stage you are on, you will die. Commanding lead early here as we enter into the FD portion of this map. Which can definitely be the most scary part of it. But platforms will be coming back soon as they taxi in just now. Now I'm surprised to see uh, FD on... Er Town on stage one. I know a lot of people ban this stage against Kazuya Ooh. as Riddles is going to rip a stock away from MK Leo before I get the words out of my mouth. A great sequence from him. And now MK Leo really needs to answer back and prove that the Roy is capable of taking games in this matchup. Yeah, the front kick was a beautiful mix up there, too. Obviously, right. Roy not able to make the craziest of horizontal recoveries, but still blast zoning immediately. I love the idea. On the platform, avoids the electric, does Leo, and now he's trying to put on the corner pressure. I love that up air mix up. MKLeo already has some of the best up airs of any Roy in the world, and another extension from Riddles. Gonna get the job done, no way. A three stock to start off this game is... I think it's starting to show here too. Arsene already online. Yeah, the, Ars we have. the Arsene is a great tool to balance out with the explosiveness of Kazuya. Arsene can kind of take stocks Ooh. just as quickly as Kaz can. Down or up smash, not going to get it done, but threatening a great tech. Off stage with oh the counter. God. Leo's on something, come on. 129, nothing to scoff at either though. That up air coming up from Kazuya, extremely fast. So much dashing coming through, the shield pressure is crazy. Stands tall in front of all the adversity uh. though. Very, very strong, deep up air. Riddle's moving nice. heavy though. You see these, you know, back dashes coming across the stage. Just wave dash forward, coming straight through. We got a ton of stage to work with Watch for this out, one. Leo. Coast to coast. No, the DI called for. Oh, we gone. just got a forward smash for it as well. Riddle's immediate answer and stock lead. Leo on the back foot now. He's been very poised on defense when he's not getting hit, but Riddles has been able to cut through the options pretty effectively. And now Leo, the cross up. Nice connection, down throw fair off stage, tacks on some damage, and more importantly, gets you stage positioning. That's what's going to be potent here. I imagine we're going to see some early stock takes, assuming Leo stays with Joker in this set. But now another extension for Riddles, the landing there, and that's going to crumple him. A couple of kicks, put the feet on him, and the upbeat gets it done. Riddles with a phenomenal game, too, after a nice start from Leo. The kind of back Riddles off of him a little bit, and MK Leo just hasn't been able to keep Riddles at bay. Riddles is just holding forward, and Leo hasn't been able to answer back, hasn't been able to make him doubt himself. Riddles is imposing his game plan. Ooh, and they're going to find the second hit, but not going to send off that left side. He'll still be able to keep some ground beneath him. Off my stage, keeps it safe, but actually sending it at the perfect time, barely surviving to that right side. Really right just wow. trading back and forth with Kazuya right now with Leo, and it's working. Neutral be not going to get it done, but Riddles can't make it back to stage regardless. MK Leo is going to take his first lead of the set, I do believe. Dash out really nice, baited out that spot dodge. Going to find Boom. the neutral tech as well, looking for the roll. Looking super clean on the movement here. Leo might have woken up with this Roy. Yeah, Leo's advantage state is looking phenomenal. Ooh, can the way that Roy can take these going. stocks. Where are you going? F Smash sends them further right than he wanted to. And now a back air. Weak hit, not going to get it done. Riddle's still trying to make it back. Which will be didn't do it for Leo, but still chasing. Wow. And the back air off the platform, his movement so ambiguous. Some of the fastest paced oh, gameplay we've caught. seen all day. Trips him up, but still can't get the stock. The conversions are tough around this percent for Kai. Yeah, could have found an upbeat or something like that, but I think just dashed the wrong way on the jump. Where's the roll going to go away from it? Leo not ready for it. We will find the up air to take it. He said, get back down there. Leo moving forward, stuck in the corner. Wow, the confidence to just drift in with that falling sure. up air is crazy. Yeah, the, the way that... Leo's confidence has not been dissuaded. He's constantly pushing forward, even when he's off stage, even when he's in disadvantage, even when he's losing. He's still pushing forward. A great spot dodge for Riddles. And that's going to clean up that stock. It's last stock. This is this is an even game. Good cross-ups here, too. Going to find the weak hit of Jab. Riddles still not trying to find anything too committal. Just give me these stray hits, and we will find an electric from them. Catching him with what a forward air, another up air. It's been a lot of trades for Riddles. Leo's doing a good job avoiding anything too bad, but that's not what you want. Catches the air dodge, but no punish. Landing Nair one into an F smash. MK Leo gets it done. Riddles now. But no, we see these two fighting much earlier in bracket than anyone could have anticipated. And now both of them just trying to stay safe in their shields. The approach from Leo doesn't work out. It's caught by Riddles. And when he catches your approach, he throws your stock and gets rid of that one. Yeah, really good option there too. We had not seen that all set, the drag down. 
Just gonna take it all the way to the blast zone. And Riddle seems Dude. to be riding this momentum heavy. Gets the turnaround. We know your DI. We know where you want to go. Oh, he's all up in his head. That is two stocks in 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, good landing mix up there too. Yeah, fast. heavy guy though. Fast is going to be the important part of what you just said. You do not want to give Riddle too much time to think about what you're doing. The side beat gets it done. And now you're down by so much. But a stock in MKLeo's hand can always be a threat. Oh, we're going to find a line. Oh my <laughs> gosh, just kicking the doors open into that loser's quarters match. Restart. Yeah, I do know that Riddles wants to commit more and more to just making Kazuya work. Um, I've heard him say that he wants to make Kazuya work against Samus and a few other bad matchups. So, potentially just going to stick out with his boy here as Riddles. As Mayo is going to try and make it back to ledge. The re grab doesn't go punish. Down tilt up air is a great answer back, though. Super deep for that one. Are we making it back to stage? No. Bit off a little more than you could chew there. Is Nao Riddle's getting a, a high percentage gift. Whoa. But still, we can take this one the distance with all this rage. Speaking of gifts, that F smash doesn't get accepted by Riddle. That could have been a much larger punish. And now Delta up here not quite going to get it done. As Riddle's now at 130%. Gets caught with the pin. Nail's going to take that stock. Good stuff. Jump start and find himself right behind you. He gets that stage positioning so quick. Nail has done a good job scrapping back and forth, though, and kind of not allowing Riddles to take that space and scare him back, scare him off his ground. And a neutral be out of shield from Nail, a rare option, but it's potent nonetheless, 94%. Yeah, letting the dragon eat here, too. Up smash not going to connect. We will find an up B, though. Not enough platform to work with to get the up smash, but up B will work just as good. Riddles frames away from getting caught with an F smash as well. As Nao continues wow. to put on strong pressure and a great parry coming through from, from Riddles. Yeah, just the one hit hell swing coming by there too. That was interesting, but we'll take the damage where we can find it. Speaking of damage, Nao tacking on just a little bit. That dragon, as you mentioned earlier, coming out to play dancing today. And now, oh, the electric is right up in your muffin onto the platform. And that's a piece of cake with a nice upbeat to finish up that stock. Yeah, explosive interaction there as Riddles just runs right through it. Grabs you and with the body slam is going to take that stock. Rage drive coming out in full force here, especially that amount of rage. It is crazy. Not going to charge anything in that shield. Oh my goodness. Just the question hey! kick. Oh my god. Hey. What a stock to find from Riddles. Holy. Oh my god. Nair down smash is one of the most brutal combos in this game. Oh, not it again. It's like a truck. He threatened it. He wanted it. And now the up is going to send Riddles back. As Nao gets a nice little side B, able to settle in. It's so hard for Nao to mix up this timing. Riddles just seems to be in his head with all of his landings. It's a nice little mix up there from Nao to push him to the corner, but isn't rewarded with a hit. A combo will confirm. He's just rewarded with stage position, with, which Riddles has just been ripping away this whole game. Yeah. Big stage to be played on here, too. Nao could be finding a lot more survivability here, too. And I think that might be the name of the game, as again, as was in the first game, uh, the second game, I should say. First blood being drawn, but Riddle's Dude. immediately back with an insane conversion. The dash is forward. This is so intimidating. It's terrifying as the up smash just barely misses, but Riddle's still hot on the case. Nao finds a small hit to break it all up. And my goodness, a man on fire. Yeah, hot on the case. He's a detective. He's stuffing out all these options. He's got a magnifying glass. He's inspecting that jump. Cleans it up with the back air. Riddle's playing very well right now. Oh, Electric, what do we got on this platform? Just the back air turnaround, too. Oh, looking for an Electric immediately. You found that. The reconverged in Open Hell's Gate. This what? is getting kind of gross as Riddle's looks to be in firm control of this game. What Just another hell? connection. Nao cannot find footing. He wanted a bigger stage, but it hasn't worked out. Riddle's is all over him. Electric, what do we got here, too? Dude. We know where you're going. 22%? Is that all you're getting now? Michael Him! Oh, Michael Kim! That's Michael three. Him, baby! Oh, my God! A three-stock in just over a minute. What are you talking about? That was one of the most dominant games I've seen. <laughs> he ripped it away. 22% was all Nao had to their name. That was crazy. The triple down air? Yeah. That's, not that one, not disgusting. two, but three? Or Nair, rather? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. For Steve, or er, for Kazuya, rather. Steve has a lot of options, and Riddles has a Cloud, apparently. We got Cloud this versus Steve. Is interesting. Okay. I saw Riddles warming up the Cloud just before this top eight started. I'm like, bro, what, okay. what's this going on here? He's like, I'm thinking about playing it. I'm Makes like, sense. you're going to play this versus Leo? He's like, no, 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 no. This is just like a future thing. But I guess the future <laughs> comes a lot sooner than you may think. Cloud hey. on the sticks. The future sneaks up on you. It's like yeah, when you right. got a final a few weeks out, and all of a sudden it's tomorrow, and I you didn't study. study. Yeah. yeah, the future snuck up. Cloud is on your screen. 
Riddles off to a rough start. The TNT not getting the job done, but 112% hasn't been able to touch on him. Mm. It is interesting, too, because we have some very talented clouds in the state as well, so it's in the form of like oh, yeah. Anthony oh, using yeah, yeah. cool and Lavishman rocking some cloud as well, too. So this is not an uncommon matchup that Onan has not seen prior, but this is, you know, on paper supposed to be pretty solid. Interesting to see how this next one goes. Last time they played was what online, but then previously before that, 2022, they had an absolute war playing at Gommel, playing at SmashCon, and playing at Big House. Yeah, that was a year of a intense rivalry between these two, as Odin is able to take another stock, extend his lead just a little bit further, up two whole stocks, and the diamond jab off stage, not quite gonna do it, but scaring Riddles nonetheless, and there's that cloud back air, the saving grace in this matchup. Wait a minute, a couple connections. Odin stuck on the platform fair. He goes for the F smash, <laughs> charges it forever, and Riddles just barely avoided it. He almost ran into it anyways. And now the back air coming through, extended on the crafting table. Dodges the side B and is going to get an F smash about it. Gotta watch out for the TNT. Just break it all up and we'll explode eventually, but still set timer. A big connections. 77%. And that setup that Onan had allowed him a lot of time. The first back wow. air doesn't connect and neither does the second. Side B gonna connect and super kills. Yeah, Limit Cross Slash killing from the middle of the stage here, too. Riddle's gonna get grabbed out of the forty there, too. My goodness, that thing had evil intentions, but all <laughs> stuffed out. Malicious forward there. Yeah. That was devious. Side B gonna connect, puts on a little bit more damage, a good grab. Going off stage now is Onan. That's where you're gonna naturally be taking things as Steve. That is one of the times that Steve has such a strong standing in this matchup. Another back air. And really good there. I love that fade back. Yeah, that fade back cross was slash. A little early. But I love the idea, it's gonna run out eventually. Off the backboard here too, not gonna find anything going coast to coast. But the landing caught with the up smash. Not be in the corner, not get pressure for so long. As Riddles, the cloud, clearly figured something out because we're doing much better here in game two. Oh, wow. gonna stop through there at the up smash. Cross flash gonna let fully rip forward smash, oh, wood will not really? kill. Yeah, the wooden tools, even oh, weaker than I thought duh. they were. Riddles can't make it back to the ledge. The block threatens too much and I think Limit is not breaking Onan just yet as they're able to get back on the stage, but you can't really feel safe ever against this cloud. Nice little whoop de woo or recovery to get back to ledge though. I mean, this grab, what are we gonna go for? Off the block, looking <laughs> for something immediately, but able to get the shield up just in time is Onan. And yeah. off air juggles will close out that stock which is not very common, but a nice extension. He's gonna keep going as Riddles was trying to STI in there. It actually wound up working out eventually, and the last hit of side B, I imagine Onan was trying to parry that again, because yeah. that's been working out for him in the past. And that's what I'm talking about. Riddles just absolutely willing, ready, and able to let these limits fly, and just fly with reckless abandon straight towards the opponent. Forward tilt, not going to connect, but watch out for the explosion. He did not watch out enough. He didn't hear you, Squirt. He wasn't ready. Trying. He connected with him, and there he did catch that back air. Doing pretty well here is Riddle. The cloud has found everything it's needed to find so far. It's doing very well. The up B is going to connect as well. Big damage now for Riddles as he's able to take a bit of a lead here. Got caught throwing the Claraw Slash a little too haphazardly. Up B going to catch the landing hitbox there too. Anvil, the immediate response on Climb Hazard. I like that. Oh, he aired out through that up B. I thought that was going to be a much bigger punish than it was. But now with caught off stage, it should be a pretty significant one. And that down air is just that. Gets it done in swift fashion with the hot hand. Four block, no, just three. Ooh, gets to the ledge very narrowly, though. The back air as well. Great pressure here for Onan. Up smash, pressuring the shield, but not really in any danger to get hit by it. But that minecart flying through like a train just sends Riddles completely off the map. Uh, the spot dodge doesn't work out for Onan. Was looking for a different option. But Riddles perseveres. Keep moving forward, 92% now on Onan, as any opening now for Onan would just be huge. Get yourself a huge lead, and that is exactly what it is, 49%, making it a little bit harder off stage, and the spike is gonna connect. Forced to use limit to recover, still gets intercepted, and the down smash finishes it off, and that's a great way to do it for Onan. Damage getting tacked on and extensions, and neutral wins and positional awareness Ooh, for Onan working out. Yeah, TNT doesn't work in his favor, though. Yeah, no, I've Limit Blade Beam actually come through really well. Give enough space to come back from. Forward airs again, flying through, dashing in, probably trying to go for a grab or a dash attack. Yeah, it's up for sure. Can't be air dodging like that above Onan. Riddle's nodding his head, he knows it. He's like, yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Up smash, wrong way here too, but able to avoid the grab. Oh my gosh, so many big hits going either <laughs> way at each opponent, but just narrowly missing by frames and by pixels. Yeah, I can't believe no one lost a stock there. Another high recovery for Riddles. Onan has been doing a good job forcing the high recovery, but Riddles is able to rip himself out of that situation. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Onan. 
Yeah, he's been using limit very quickly. There's yes. like the, the two method the two methodologies to using limit is like keep it and keep the threat and keep the movement buff that it gives you, or just use it right away. And Riddles has been going for that as Onan is able to get another minecart. Crowd lights up for him a little bit. He's got a great shot of taking this set and moving on to this loser's final set. Really good up tilt to catch that. The air dodge was nice. used. It's basic. Yeah, really good stuff to catch that. All of that came from that left side interaction. Up tilt, give me this juggle started. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, and Riddles is doing a much better job than he was earlier, putting himself in the right space to punish what Steve has, and that's a wow. nice opening for oh Odin. What are God. we doing? Are you kidding me? All these nils, all of these crazy landings, and canceled beautifully to get the absolute maximum amount of damage. Up smash as a combo starter. I love it. Very rare to see, and the F smash is going to connect. The tools are on deck. The momentum is on Onan's side. But Riddle's still very much with a fighting chance in this game. 73% threatening Onan from every angle, but the footstool anvil. A little bit of flash to end off this game. The crowd claps it up for the Michigan hopeful. We are up 3-1 over Riddle's and moving on to losers.